morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. Welcome back to the beat-up plans for return to do another little bit of Hearthstone. Now soon, very soon, Black Rock Mountain will be leaving Hearthstone, or well, at least the cards won't be available in Standard. They will move to Wild. And when Black Rock Mountain came out, Dragons ruled supreme because it contained a lot of dragon cards. So I was thinking, why don't we try and pit the new decks versus the dragon decks? So, what we're gonna try and do is, we're gonna go with heroic challenges and we're gonna find Razor Gore with Pirate Warrior. Let us see if that way we can show him the new Supreme, even yeah. for an heroic challenge. Behold, the corrupted eggs of our new dragon flight. Victory or death! Mmm, I would love to have... Uh, if I had a weapon, if I had Fairy Warwick here, I would be... Ex oh, I, this is a risk. That's not a risk that went well. I'm gonna try and fight still, of course. But this is just going to show you. Uh, These eggs will be your undoing. But this is going to be a showcase match, Stay so to speak. If it goes wrong, then it goes wrong, and you see what will happen. Alright, he's gonna go and try and hit my face. I like my face. Rather keep it. Now, as soon as these eggs hit 5 health, they will hatch, so I can't allow for that, so I'm going to have to hit this guy. Despite the fact that I could kill this or kill that, no, I have to hit it. But with this particular, um, set of cards right now, I can piss the guy off. Um, are we going to coin out Sir Finley already? A uh, coin out? Well, yeah, we're going to play Sir Finley. Sorry. Um, considering uh, uh shapeshift or fire blast? I mean, fire blast. No, I think shapeshift will be better in this case. The pain! The pain! Um. The problem is now this guy is contested like crazy. And yes, I recently crafted these Frostling Berserkers. Because I felt it was necessary, or they're so good that it is kind of nice. Whoa! Yeah, it just turned into an 11, but unfortunately it is just, it is right now, it is dead. Uh, we have no weapon. This was a nice showcase match. It goes crazy fast. Now normally, Pirate Warrior can go crazy fast, but, well, just to show it off, I already attacked, and then this egg can hatch. And then you'll see what will happen. 7-7. Seven, seven. And then apparently also a bloodlust. Ow! I think I'm dead here. Well, not entirely, but... You know what? Victory or death! Kaboom! Well, let me try and get back to you with well, the best hand. This was a really good hand, but unfortunately the draws afterwards were a little less. Uh, so... I have a bit of an back. interesting Let opening here. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, because if I play down Nazal's first mate, the problem is that he always, always starts with a cruel Stay Taskmaster. So I think he's going to kill this before my blood cultist can have... can trigger, but apparently I am going to be stand corrected. 
And I'm gonna armor up, unfortunately. I would have loved here a small time buccaneer. Those are awesome in this matchup. Small time buccaneer, hit it, and now he's gonna come with a. with a wool rider. Uh, Still not very crazy about the current uh, way that this game is going, but we'll have to see. Traveling Berserker is awesome, though. The problem is we can't only kill with one egg. We were really close, but he draws some cards and gains armor. All right, that is not a problem. Okay, we have actually a chance here. Probably Berserker. This is gonna go off like a nutcase. I, you definitely can play this. Do I want to play this though? Well, yes, it removes another egg that it is, is interesting to me. Voila! The amount of eggs are now small, and our Frobling Berserker is a 5 4. So, yes, I felt it was good. This is annoying, but we have ways of dealing with it. That is just crazy. Um. Okay, Mortal Strike won't work because my health is pretty darn good right now. We do want to kill those and we want to start doing damage. So actually we want Frothling Berserker to go face. These two take this out and then I need to kill this. Uh, but unfortunately I'm just a little shy of doing that. Um, I can also just keep these two under wing and but then I have to sacrifice both of these. Also not a good idea. So I'm gonna try it with Sir Finley to get a better power. It's not really what I was looking for. But I'm gonna take it nonetheless. There we go. Damage that. Sacrifice one of my troops. And have an 11 2 on the board. And our shield will stay up anyway, so I'm gonna suppress this dragon. Uh, it's gonna get healed. But we do have another two attacks, so there is a chance for it. What are you gonna hit? Oh, ho, ho, too bad. He removes it. Play a little bit unorthodox way, but yeah, Frothling Berserker there. You can now see why I really wanted to craft a card. It is really, really darn ni nice. Um, okay, we've dealt now with the problem of the eggs. Don't worry, Lux. The cavalry's here. I should have played the Corsair ahead of time. Sorry, I made a mistake and that is kind of detrimental in heroic fights. Also, I'm top decking right now. Alright. Ooh, yes. Definitely. Um... All right. And now we have again two creatures with free attacks, so that we can't take out those eggs. Ooh, that's a nine-nine. That is a nine-nine. That's not what I wanted to see. Oof. 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 Uh, I don't have the health yet to have this trigger to do 6 damage. I can't take it to face, but then I have really low health. 
But then it would be dead, so actually I'm gonna do it. Not sure if we're gonna win this. It is the longest fight I've had so far, I think. Um. My work is paramount. Ow! That went to face. Also, what he has just done there is not something I enjoy to see. That is pretty good, though. Having the Naga out. And now we're gonna try and go face. Corruption. I don't think that's too much of a problem right now because I think he's going to. Hunger hmm, Dragon. Please, a Dust Devil? Not a Dust Devil. Um. Hmm. We could definitely make use of that. How much damage do we have on board? Uh, six. 10, uh, 14, 19, he's dead. No. He is dead! Actually, um, I should sacrifice one creature. So, I mean, this is maximum damage. We didn't really need to sacrifice it, or... Yes, we did need to sacrifice it. I, I am correct, I did need to sacrifice it. But, voila, he is dead! And there we have beaten the dragons with the pirates! Yarrr! Those eggs were meant for glorious experiments! Oh, shut up, we've already defeated you once. So, that is Heroic Razor Now, there's also Valestras. Sorry, I didn't play World of Warcraft, I may be saying that wrong. What she does is, each player gain, draws three cards, gain one mana crystal. So you get free ramp, and you have a lot of cards you draw. That could be interesting with versus Jade Root. After all, I do want to pitch in the newest decks. That was the whole emphasis of this video. I hope I can do it with Jade Root. It might be that Jade Root might be even too slow, but that's what we're gonna try. So, let's just do a little test match. And then we're gonna see if, um, if we can win. And otherwise, what she has in store for us? Velastras, okay. Or I lose control. I must protect the wild. Um, now you may be wondering, why is this a budget J Root? Well, you'll see, for instance, I have Go Arcane Giants in here. Why do I have Arcane Giants in here? Uh, we do get extra mana, but this does not ramp into jades. But I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I have this in here because... Why do I actually... I don't really need Azadrake in this, I... Well, uh, the spell damage can still be good. The, the fact of the matter is that I am considering... It's too late. Nefarian's corruption has taken hold. The um, thing that I want to do here the is... Black Rock courses through my veins. Gang up of the saplings. Oh no! Um. Yeah, we're, you're gonna burn cards really, really quickly, and Dra Jade Druid might be a bit too slow. I may need to make a little bit of a smaller Jade Druid, one with less cards, because Kira has two, four. Five, eight. I can handle one more uh, effect of his ability, and we do gain extra mana, but I don't think this way we can make enough jades. Perhaps my old jade rogue was better, but I have to admit, I threw that kind of away because... Cost one less for each card your opponent has. Ouch. Yeah, that combination then make is really painful. And now he... Yeah, it's, uh, he mills me. And that's the card that we needed. And we didn't have anything of our inner innervates, which is really what I was looking for. So yeah, it's a mill opponent. And 
Jade Rune may be too slow. Perhaps Jade Rogue can do it because it has very low combo cards. Or actually Miracle Rogue with a lot of the zero mana cost spells. Perhaps Miracle Rogue because that is also an older drag. But it isn't very it isn't a very current drag. But neither is, I have to admit, Jade, uh, <laughs> Jade Rogue. And Dragon Priest is going to lose from this, because Dragon Priest is a value deck and it's, it's, it needs its build up, so... Hmm... I'm gonna try and build perhaps a little adjusted Jade Druid deck. Having Jade Idol, having Gadgets and Auctioneer, perhaps leaving out most of the other Jade cards. I'll come back to you with a little bit of an adjusted Jade Druid deck. Here we are back with our Jade Druid. Now, this druid is also a little bit of a token druid. Uh, I didn't put in Violet Teacher because I think it was going to slow, but as you already can see, I have a lot of cards here that uh, strengthen your other minions, and that's more or less what I'm gonna go with here. Now, let's hope he starts with the same opening. The fury of Blackrock courses through my veins! He doesn't, but on the other hand, I also have... Oh, he's gonna kill one of mine. Yep. He's gonna kill both of them! Well, that's actually two cons that I'm okay. He uh, definitely destroyed them for a reason. I'm gonna give this dragon a little taste of their own medicine. Drawing them some cards. Spell for me. Um, that's a definite yes. Um, two, four, five. We are five. Ooh, and a nice, a clockwork giant gone. And then a gang up. Of course, quite handy for if you're milling your own deck. Well. Well, I also have ramp in this deck. And I'm looking for gadgets and auctioneer. That's the thing that is currently failing, uh, so to speak. Um... Now, I have a little bit here, and I'm going to say two, four, six, seven. Um, seven, they're gonna get free from her, so I would mi be milled one if I don't play another card. If I use Raven Idol, I will gain something new. I don't need to remove something. Um, mm -hmm. I don't want to thin out the deck just yet, because I do want to find Gadget and Auctioneer, and we do have one of them for Gadget and Auctioneer. Here, there we go. Destroying tons of my opponent's cards. That's not a bad implosion. It's a very old card. But, ooh. Well, your opponent has six or more cards in hand. Alright. I see your point. Um, we should be able to destroy this. Yeah, we can. There we go. Um, ramping already a little more. Because the more we ramp, the more mana we have to spend all our cards. And it's how we keep up with the dragon who gains a crystal every time they let us draw. I, where is my gadgets and auctioneer? I really wish I had it. Please don't mill me now for the gadgets and auctioneer. Should have kept that in mind, by the way. No, that's okay. That's doable, that's doable. That's all doable. I just want gadgets and auctioneer, please. Um For the wild. Just remove this. Um play this out as a free two panther then. Mmm. Put in another giant golem on the deck and increase the minions. Voila. 
There is Gadget and Auctioneer. And another Arcane Giant I saw was taken away. Please don't kill it. Oh, you do, you nasty person. That's not a problem with corruption. Um, we do we do have a gadget auctioneer, but I don't really want to use the swipe. I need to. I will be milled soon. Three, four. I will take two fatigue damage. Three damage overall. Um, so getting a gadget and auctioneer down is pretty awesome. But I have a heal also in the hand, so... And this removes everything here. I need to think here for a moment, don't, don't, hold on. Norris is just to get more Jade Golems on. Next, soon we can go in the Jade Golem craziness. Because of this card and that card combo. Um... And we will be guaranteed to only draw jades. That is the good thing about it. Um, I just need to be careful how I use my mana right now. Two, four, six. Two, four, six, eight. I will be milled soon. That's fine, I think. Uh, this card is a little heavier than that one for the attack. But I don't need the other cards to power gadgets and auctioneer. So I'm actually going to go with this. Just take this, so I don't take too much damage. Let's cover on a spell. We don't need minions, we have mulch. Awesome. And... Thereby, I think I am done. His turn. Out of cards. Take one damage. I have no means for him to... Mill me with? He has one card still in the deck. This is annoying though, I have to admit. I got the best deals anywhere. I, I do. I just realized something... I'm also very, very happy that I have two gadgets and auctioneers, by the way, because he could take it out with this, so... Yeah. Too bad the trigger happened before I could draw. I'm out of cards. Oh dear. How many does he have of Burning Adrenalin? My totems! My pretty totems! Oh. Okay. My gadget and auctioneer is still there. Oh. Shoot! Okay. Counter the frickin' milling effect. Alright. Um, I'm dead on board by a long shot. I think I just failed to... get it right. Um... Let me, let me shortly think here. I, uh, 12 damage, we can take out one of them. We have a gadget and auctioneer to power more, so that we w would have 9 damage on board. We might then survive, actually. I'm almost out of cards. Cards, yes. Good, thank you for the reminder. Which is, I, I really do mean, thank you for the reminder. Cards, yes, but I shovel back in. 
And I shovel back in. Now all I can hope is that he doesn't have Adrenaline. Because he has, if he has Adrenaline, I'm effed. I should have done two damage to his face. My hand is too full. Oh please, is that the one thing that I had to do? He has four damage. Let's close! We can do it with this deck. I believe in this deck. So, I'm gonna come back to you and try again. <laughs> Um, we have to keep naturalized, basically, for those clockwork giants. Today, I've learned that as well. Corruption has taken hold. This is dangerous not playing anything, but I felt like it was necessary. Felt it was a bit of a shame if to use the living roots already. Because this opening, I've seen before. And uh, so... But then again, I've also seen him once use... A gang up on two living roots. So I'm gonna try that now. Hopefully he does that and not, for instance, on, I don't know, a clockwork giant, which he has done before, which is very nasty. Or he's just gonna play a clockwork giant that's even nastier. Please don't look out. He ganged it up. He had to gang it up. You bastard. Well, at least we have this. But the fact that he do he's done that already, that he hasn't had a gang up coming in, it, for me has the feeling, well, that could be our death. Two, four, six, we have way too many cards. We're gonna get milled. For one at least. That's not a bad card for him to lose, not a bad card for him to lose. That is the card that I wanted him to lose, but no, he gangs it up again. And uh, this looks to me like this is the type of game where you know, I can't win this. I'm gonna try a wee little bit, but... My hand is too full. Yeah, my hand is too full and I can't nourish and I... Well, we dealt with one Clockwork Giant, but unfortunately, my opponent is also getting rid of all... He's not getting milked, so... That is not good. Hmm, interesting way of doing things. Um... Hopefully Jade Idol will give us later an answer to the Clockwork Giants. And I'm just trying to mill him again out of those Clockwork Giants. That's Arcane Missiles. There's a Clockwork Giant. And there's a Molten Giant. And there's another Clockwork Giant. But there is another Clockwork Giant. Two of them. What's what am I supposed to do about this? Nope, and with this, that means My you're dead. This is like the ultimate disaster scenario. Let's try and get an ultimate Time beneficial one final scenario. attempt. Why am I going with these cards? Because they're cheap. And I've learned that, well, to be honest, your opening hand doesn't say everything. There's also a lot with which cards get milled from your opponent. Because if he mills Clockwork Giants, you are in the on top of the moon. If you If he mills something... Like, I don't know, arcane missiles, you're like, eh. And the fact that we are not drawing a lot of our one mana cards is really annoying here, though. Um, there we go. Unnaturalize, alright. Goblin sappers. Get stronger the more your opponent holds cards. Um, we're gonna use a claw. 
For the wild. We're going to have to... Uh, oh, man, we're gonna get milled if I don't do something about this. And we're gonna get milled anyways. Alright. Milling of your strolling has begun. Enervate is good, Living Roots is nice. The we lose Mark of the Lotus is not too bad. Mm, that's not even too bad to, to, for him to gang that up. And this is why it's so nice for him that he always has the coin. I never have the coin. My hand is too full. That's also not too bad to lose. So, personally, could be better, could be worse. Uh, I'd rather save those for the giants, but oh well. And seeing we already have quite a bit of mana, I'm gonna drop this as well. Two, four, six. So I don't want to draw. So let's do it like this. Because I think the rafts are too important for taking out of other creatures. Alright. A lot of idols. Mm, and there comes a card I'd rather not have seen. Also that he ganks it up is most of the time the kiss of death. Because I don't own mulch myself, which is one of the big problems. Uh, that won't eat me a darn thing. Um, I'm gonna take a big blow on my face. But we keep a board, we have a l not too many cards in our hand, but then again, we also have no answers anymore, so... Mm. Well, there, there are answers. Hmm, we're gonna have to swipe this in my opinion. Am I going to naturalize this? I don't think so, I think that's a bit of a shame. Voila. Keep our... I mean, our, we already had very low cost as it is. We are getting close to that Gadgets and Auctioneer will pull a lot of Jade Idols. And then we have the mana to do so. Uh, created by Gang Up. As I said, it's most of the time the kiss of death. I got the best deals anywhere. Yep. And the problem now is our hands will stay big for this guy because of what we just did with Gadget and Auctioneer. Um, can we have a zero level spell like Innervate? Please? Would love it. Oh, yeah. That's not what I asked for. That's actually just. Ooh. Um, Raven Idol then, I guess. Okay, time to get seriously milled. There's the innervate I was asking for. That we lose two Jade cards, not, not a problem. We can definitely uh, re-put them in. Once again, we can put those all back in. The problem that we, is more that we lost the gadgets and auctioneer than anything else. Uh, and I mean, he is close to uh, starting to get into trouble, but. I'm losing a lot of health here. Out the burst, the burst! The burst is real. Um I don't 
want to play Gadgets and Auctioneer though. Because I need to play so many other... I need to... Uh, he doesn't have many cards in his hand, so I kind of want to prevent some of this damage coming in. So... First, swipe this to pieces. Mm, swipe this to pieces. And... Play this. Gain 8 armor. And shovel these into my deck. Job done. Alright, there's the Jade Blossom. Jade cards. I still need to deal with the dragon, don't get me wrong, but... Please, an answer for this drink. We have an answer. First shovel. First shovel. Let's not do that mistake again. There we go. Shovel, shovel, shovel. And take care of the drink. We only have uh, Jade Idols in our deck, so it should not be a problem if we burn anything. I think he might... We have done it. That was a close call. I think this was... killed one of the good guys. Does this make you sad? No. Um... Wait a second, that was very quick to say that, but uh, yeah, um, I think this was attempt number six or seven or so, uh, so it took a few times, but we've made it through. I hope you enjoyed this watch, even despite the fact that I've just killed a few dragons, but they were corrupt, and I mean, they were killing other dragons as well, it's, if you at least know the WoW lore, so yeah, don't hate on me, they tried to oppose me, they were just in my way. I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty. <laughs>